Spring has arrived in Forza Horizon 4, but where I live in Pennsylvania in real life, the snow is just arriving. So we're back with another weekly challenge, Thoroughbred, and this one's all going to be about the 2013 Cataram Superlight R500. So the two most important things. You're going to be using the same car for every challenge, and you have to do the challenges in order from left to right. One, two, three, four. So never forget that, but this is the car we're going to be using. I got lucky, I already had it through a wheel spin. So as you can see, it's 82,000 credits. It is available to buy at the auto show. But if you check the auction house, you might be able to find a cheaper version of it. So just go to the auction house and search for Cataram. It is the only Cataram in the game, the R500, and some of them aren't even worth getting because they're more expensive, but some like that one right there are a little bit cheaper. So take a look, it might save you some credits, can't hurt, but check your garage first to see if you have one. But just leave your garage, drive it for like a couple inches, and the first challenge will pop up and be completed. Now, we just had this challenge in Forza Horizon 3, threading needle skills. We're going to need five of them. We're using the Cataram for it, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Horizon Solo. The reason for this is you're going to want traffic, because for threading the needle, basically you need to split traffic cars or drive a cars, it doesn't really matter. The easiest way to do it is what I did right there. Have a car on your left, have a car on your right, and that will give you the threading needle. Oh, I was so close right there. I really wanted that one to happen. Those cars are turning left, but it didn't count because I hit the one just a little bit. So. The straightaway right outside the festival, back and forth, I think is one of the best spots because there's a lot of traffic cars here all the time and it's two lanes so it's pretty easy to just kind of split right down the middle and as you can see we got that last threading the needle skill there and the challenge was completed. So that one's really not bad at all, just go to Horizon Solo or you're not going to find any traffic probably. So the third challenge is to get a total of nine stars from Danger Signs once again using the Cataram. So go to your world map and just filter for the danger signs and you can do any of the ones that you want to do, it really doesn't matter. I just chose to do the one that's right here in the beginning. It's called Ambleside Edge because that's the one that everyone starts with so I know everyone has this danger sign. If you want to upgrade the Cataram you can, I chose not to because I just don't feel like it's worth spending the credits for this Forzathon event. Now you're going to want to turn rewind on. Go to your settings, put rewind on, and here's why. So when you drive up to the danger sign, you know, just hit it as fast as you can because you want to try and get two or three stars at least because you don't want to have to do this nine times. But I was able to get two stars on this danger sign, so I had to do it a total of five times. Obviously, if you can upgrade this thing and get it fast enough for three stars, you're only going to have to do the danger sign three times. But it saves a... A lot of time like it's so much quicker if you just hit rewind but just to prove it you can see my progress right there is two out of nine and then we go back out we rewind back up to the top of the hill right before the danger sign and we're gonna jump it again and I just wanted to prove to you and show you that this does work because you can rewind hit the danger sign again you'll still keep your progress and the new progress will save as well so it pretty much just saves you the time of having to drive all the way back up to the top of the danger sign and then getting far enough back to actually get enough speed to get the distance you need to get the stars. So this is something I wanted to test and obviously I want to show proof because I'm sure there's people out there going to be like, oh, I guarantee you that doesn't work. He's just lying about that. So whatever, you know, there's the proof just in case anyone really needed it. Hopefully you didn't. Hopefully you trust me. If you know me, you should be able to trust me by now. But that one, it's not too hard at all I mean it took me like a couple minutes to do that and again upgrading it'll save you some extra time honestly no it probably won't because the time it'll take you to upgrade and to tune the car a little bit it'll probably still take longer than just going and doing the danger sign two extra times since we're only able to get two stars but as you can see their take to the skies is complete so that brings us to the final challenge which is to win four road circuit events in the Cataram so the thing I always say to do is go to your world map and filter for the road events. And the reason you want to do this is so you don't get them mixed up. So go to road racing series, just filter for that. The key is you have to look for one that ends in circuit. It has to be a circuit race, not a sprint. And it's kind of marked by that little circle under the flag versus the sprint races just kind of have like more of a 
straight line and not a completed circle. So just make sure you go to a circuit race because if you don't do a circuit it will not work. Doesn't matter how many road sprints you do it will never work. And you want to blueprint it. You might as well blueprint it. Make sure you're using Cataram and just make it one lap. This will make the race as quick and easy as possible. There's no reason to do three or four laps when you can just do one. So create your blueprint and the other key with this because the Cataram it's a little bit slippery you're gonna need throttle control but definitely just put the difficulty on easy or new racer to be exact and I would recommend also turning rewind back off just so you get your credits bonus up a little bit again since we're using an easier difficulty so just in case anyone doesn't know how to go back and like use their blueprint that they made already just go to custom events and you'll see it here and if you scroll over you can also look at your friends and followers and different things like that so once you win four races you have to come in first place that will be it thoroughbred will be complete so that is the new spring forzathon weekly challenge that's everything you need to know and pretty simple pretty straightforward didn't take me too long at all so I really hope this guide helped everyone out, reminded you of this Forzathon, made you aware of it. As always, thanks for watching. Any questions, just let me know. Peace.